do a little bit of cleanup. Should I cut out the ailerons first? What's that? Yes? Okay. Let's get that part done. You need a ruler. So I'm measuring two inches here. And two inches here. straight up and down cut here through the top layer. Got it. Make sure your hands would be handy here. Through the top layer and maybe halfway through the pole. Can you see how much I missed that by? I'm not very happy about that. That's that's a requirement to have a second pair of hands or to do this when you're actually on a flat surface. So, I should just be able to do that. Boom, boom. Isn't that nice? Look at those. Now what I do, something similar to what I did on the front edge. Position that right there. And do a little, maybe I'll go a little bit further back. I think I need just a tiny bit more than that. I'll make sure I don't cut through the other side. That's the key here. This is the tough part. Now if you do, you just have to fix it back on with tape. It's not like it's a big deal or anything. If you do it right, which I didn't, Right, should have should have a working aileron. I didn't do it right. do the other one in the hope that maybe it'll work out the right way. And the other way is to start from this side. Do something very similar to that first cut but on an angle. Halfway through. Okay. And look at that. I'm way off. We'll just just the way it should. Maybe I can put this up as a comedy segment. 
Okay. Well, it's closer to working. It's going to need another piece of orange tape on the front, but that's this is basically the action that you want to get out of it. Now this one, we're obviously a little further from having it working. My desk is getting awfully crowded here. It's time for a cleanup. I'm just going to give this another little slice. Okay, this is bad boy up. This is one section here. There we go. That's the action we want. Down, down, good. Now I'm gonna put some more orange on here anyway, just to make it look a little bit better. And to make sure <laughs> it really doesn't make it look any better at all. And I do like having that extra little bit there. To know that I've got a good solid hinge. Here we go, an expensive, solid, stable hinge, plain, look at this, I can, I mean, I am actually putting some force here, stiff, flies like a dream, this sucker is going to go 200 kilometers an hour, might need a bit of a tailwind, but it's going to do it. Okay, so... If I was going to use this for FPV and not for speed runs, I'd probably leave that front piece open. And by leaving that front piece open, I'd be able to mount a uh, camera or something similar right in there, right on the, on the nose. But I'm not going to use this one for FPV. So I am going to glue something of that nature on there. Um, I'll, I'll remake one that's slightly larger. Okay, so I'm going to remake this nose piece. I'm going to clear off this table. I'm going to get the electronics all ready to roll. Here's my ESC. Do I want to cut out a spot for that? I need to remember that I need that my motor mount is going to sit like this. Could mount the ESC that way. I could cut out a channel for it right here just to drop it in. I might do that as well. I'm going to turn the cameras off for a bit while I figure out what I'm what I'm going to do here. Alrighty.